everybody, this is Dr. Craig with AI, and I'm excited that we have Adriana here with us, who's on the other side of the world, and I'm going to share with us as the founder of an incredible educational tool. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Craig. Thank you so much for having me today, and of course, for the opportunity to share my experience with your audience. Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Why don't you share with us your, your background and what, what brought you to this point? Well, yes, of course. Um, I'm a, a mix of everything. <laughs> First of all, I studied graphic design and later on I specialized in UX design. And in 2010, I founded my very first company where we offered uh, UX and uh, web development services. And at that time, our first major client requested the implementation of an LMS platform for their employee training. Uh, and at that moment, I saw that there was a huge opportunity to enhance e-learning with my UX design uh, knowledge and skills. So I decided to immerse myself in the e-learning industry from uh, that point on. Um, right now, I hold a master's degree in e-learning from the Open University of Catalonia in Spain, along with other studies uh, related to integrating digital technologies into education. And well, and now, Craig, I am the founder of Jera Inc. This is an international company uh, that creates it's educational technology for different sectors. We mainly focus on LATAM, but we attend attend uh, 23 countries. So we have also clients in Germany, in Spain, in the United States. Um, right now, we have four products in our ecosystem. Uh, we have an LMS for small and medium companies, an online academy for course creators. Also, we have a proprietary methodology for designing e-learning experiences. Uh, also, we have a certification for learning experience designers. And recently, we launched Sync. Um, this is a new product in our ecosystem designed to help educators to boost student participation during their live classes with real-time technology and right now with AI tools. So that's my background, Chris. Fantastic. Just for those who don't understand, can you yes. just share what UX means? Oh, yes. This is for user experience. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you find when you looked at, um, when the opportunity came to develop a, a learning management system for your client, did you look at other learning management systems and go, wow, that's ugly? And so you <laughs> wanted to create something more beautiful? Exactly. That was the <laughs> the move yeah 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 um th that's the the whole thing i i saw that uh, the lms um were uh, was um well were was um very very awful <laughs> and very difficult to use for all for users mm -hmm. for professors for the administrators so i wanted to create something easy to use but also for other sector that um are the small and medium companies because LMS are very expensive, more here in Latin America. So, so they want to create one course for 10 users and, you know, an LMS is a huge thing. So um, I saw, I saw that opportunity to, to improve a lot of things in the learning management systems um, industry. Fantastic. You also mentioned a certification um, can you tell us more about that? Is that something from your company or from a university? Yes, it's for, from our company. We create the e EXE model. Uh, this is a methodology to create uh, effective online courses. Um, and right now we have uh, a certification that we provide as a company. Um, and yeah, this is this is a very a very important project uh, from the academy side. Um, because that's the way we can uh, elevate the conversation uh, out there uh, about uh, the e-learning. The e because sometimes they say, oh, uh, online courses uh, doesn't um, have any impact. Uh, let's come back to the classroom. Uh, but the, the thing is that um, you need to change the way you, you create um, courses uh, mm. in an 
virtual environment. So, so with that model, we we create the the step by step a guide to to for everyone. I mean, everyone that can that that want to create online courses. Um, and well, that's 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 it. What's special about your methodology? Because I can see from using your product from Sync that it's a very step-by-step block-based yeah. process that we reveal things to the students. I really like that. So what's mm-hmm. different about your methodology compared to other methodologies? Yeah, basically uh, because um, this this model provides a holistic approach. So mm. you, 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 you need to see the other parts of the of the student experience uh because mm-hmm. we are very focused on the content but uh if you don't provide support if your technology is very hard to use uh if you if you don't communicate effectively uh what you your objectives are in terms of learning uh you 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 can lost your students Mm. Mm, so that's that's the the, the approach uh, to have everything in place and to think about the the um, student journey uh, from the mm. beginning to the end. Um, that's that's the focus. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Why don't you share with us what you're doing now with Sync and your products? Yeah, yeah. Well, right now um, I'm very focused on our product Sync, and with Sync I want to offer the best, the ultimate tool for educators to boost a student engagement during their live classes. And when I say live classes, it could be online or in person. It doesn't matter anymore. So what we are building is really, really awesome, Craig, because we are creating the the foundations to to truly transform education. Um, With our real-time technology, we are seeing how educators can really create an active learning classroom. Um, And for the first time, we have a tool that has been made by educators for educators, because in education, we often uh, use technology that hasn't been designed for education, which make it difficult to see results. Um, and with SYNC specifically, we are changing that by centralizing learning mater- materials in one interactive workbook, uh, providing interactive tools like polls, quizzes, word clouds, uh, social boards, and more in one single place and offering real-time data about the students' interactions. Th- this is very important for us because data is, is our GPS <laughs> to, to improve our classes. So uh, it's really, really important. And the last thing, thing that I want to share with you, Craig, is that we have gone beyond. Uh, right now we have the foundation, foundations of, of the technology that really can transform the education, but um, with AI, we see a huge opportunity. Opportunity. So right, right now we are working on launching our kit of AI tools inside Sync. Uh, and this is a, a big step because it's AI created for what educators need while they are creating their learning, learning materials. That's our focus. So, so <laughs> I'm super, super excited about this progress. Greg, and I want to invite you and the audience, of course, to explore what we are doing to improve education with this tool. Fantastic. Tell us about some of those enhancements that AI is is providing and where you see that going. Yeah, yeah. Well, we need to be very um, special uh, with the use of AI in education. Education is very difficult uh, because we are, we are, a little nervous when when we talk about new te- technology, uh, and and yeah, I understand that. You no, know? so the enhancement of of AI in in our uh, um, tool sync is that we uh, can transform in real time our content. So, for example, if you want to uh, create a title, you can enhance this title with AI. You, you just uh, 
click one button and you can transform that. The other transformation that we have is from one text, please transform this to an audio. So this is another transformation. Wow. Uh, another transformation, for example, is I have this um, text, uh, for example, three paragraphs, and now I want to transform that into an image, okay? Uh, an image that can support uh, that, inform that, that information. Uh, what other uh, transformation we have? For example, if I have um, text, also I want to transform it into a question, into a quiz, for example, or a poll. So you can, uh, with Sync, you can combine not only um, text and images, but also social interaction. So, uh, so for example, uh, if you have this this text or this image, now let's improve the conversation with our students and let's make this poll or let's make this quiz to, to see if they are understanding uh, everything, okay? So mm. if not, we have the data to, to see if they need to uh, another support, another kind of support, right? So that's another transformation. And also we have um, um, from an image, also you can transform an image into a text. So for example, you can ask, think that an image, uh, you need an explanation about that image. So you can, with just one click, you can add that, yeah, that description. So more or less we have that, a new kit of tools correct what do you think i think that's pretty fantastic so you can put in some text and it transforms it into different media exactly. types and also the ai can interpret the images and give an explanation of it when you mentioned a quiz will the ai take the text that you have and generate a quiz from the text for the teacher exactly you have mm -hmm. uh the question and also you have the the possible answers, the correct one and the mm. incorrect. And also you have feedback. In Sync, you can create a quiz. Uh, it's a formative quiz, by the way. Uh, this is not something summative, nothing, but it's something that mm. you, you can um, ask uh, to your students in real time in, mm. during your classes. So it's a, a simple question to retain information um, and also to active participation, right? So uh, you also have three types of feedback uh, that that you can add um, with this block of quiz inside Sync, and also the AI uh, feels that um, feedback and the answers and the question. Yeah, everything for you. So Adriana, when you're saying real time and you're talking about data, so as the teacher, what I'm seeing on my screen is the activity of the students, the time that they're on there, their engagement. What, what are we seeing as educators that the students don't see? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, if, if, for example, if a student um, answer some something uh, the quiz, you can see what is the answer of that student in real time. And uh, what students can see is that data. It, that's the, the data is only for the educator. And the other thing is the sync feature. Uh, the sync feature is the way that you can um, control the pace of your class, um, active, uh, you can active or, or you can hide each block of inside your your workbook. So that feature is only for the educator. Uh, the students the student only see what you have active inside your workbook. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard of an overhead projector? No, no, no. Tell me about. No? So no. thirty years ago, when I started teaching, it was a glass box with a light bulb in it and a mirror on. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Overhead projector, and so exactly. that was the state of the art. That was the latest technology when I started teaching. That was, if you could use an overhead projector, you were a master of teaching and learning. <laughs> and so we Thanks. learned how to use the plastic sheets and cover. Yeah pieces of the material and then gradually reveal them. And when I'm looking at sync and it's beautifully designed and I'm revealing 
and unrevealing sections of content as the students go through their learning journey. I'm reminded of that, this, this, this type of pedagogy or pacing, but it's just so much more beautiful and I can see the interactions with students. So from your perspective then going forward, just to finish up, because I know your time yeah. is really important, why okay. should teachers make themselves aware of AI and become familiar with the impact of AI? Why do you think? Well, because AI is here. Um, your students are using it every day. Uh, products that you are using right now have some degree of AI. So you cannot uh, act like nothing is happening. Mm. Uh, you, you can work fast. You can, lear you can learn faster. You can teach better. You can be more creative. So as an educator, you cannot be left behind. Um, mm. You need to understand how it works so you can take advantage and teach also your students how to use it for good. Um, as I always say, correct, AI didn't, didn't come from aliens. <laughs> it was created by humans. Uh, so it's only a tool. So don't mm. be scared. AI is not going to take your job. Uh, if you are an educator, uh, human interactions are the key to a successful learning experience. So focus mm. on that and embrace AI. And that's my advice, Griff. Fantastic. Adriana, what's the best way for people to be in contact with you or to try out Sync? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Craig. Well, please connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, you can find me as Adriana Caballero. Uh, I also have other social networks like a YouTube, YouTube channel uh, where I talk about e-learning, but it's in Spanish. So um, let's connect on LinkedIn. And um, well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Craig. Uh, cheers from Mexico. And thank you to the audience for listening. Thank you.